Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today we're going to make some nature themed book page journal cards. And I like to make journal cards and ephemera and stuff like that. So on, um, for today's journal cards I'm using birds and butterflies and mushrooms. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If you like my video I just ask that you give me a thumbs up. Um, all of my journal cards are about the same length. Hang on a second. Sorry, I forgot my ruler. So they're all pretty much about five and a quarter by um, three and a quarter. And it's like give or take a little eighth of an inch here or there. So, I've already inked everything, and this is just um, coffee-dyed parchment paper. So, some, some parts of it's torn, and some, you know, I tore it with my hand. Some of it is tore with my ruler. So I'm just going to put the mushroom on there, and I made a, or used a little piece of coffee dyed paper just to go under there just so it didn't blend in too much with the background. So we'll go ahead and glue them on. Now I think I'm going to use my glue stick for this. I think it should hold it down good enough. Not the biggest fan of glue stick, but yeah, I don't mind using it once in a while. And I just um, left a border around it so you could see the book page in the back. I think that's good. And I'll just go ahead and glue this on down here. Hope everyone is having a good day today. We had a little bit of rain earlier. We had a very, very bad rainstorm last night. All right, and my little phrase says, good things take time, and mushrooms are good. They take time to grow. So I thought it was fitting. Sometimes I try to match my phrases up with whatever it is I'm doing doesn't always work that way but you know okay so now I'm gonna put my mushroom on and this is just a quick little project to do takes no time no time to get everything gathered up okay and then on the back I'm going to put um, coffee dyed paper for the journaling part. And hopefully with these papers together, it'll stiffen them up enough. Journal cards don't have to be really, really stiff, I don't think. And I could have rounded the edges, but for whatever reason, I just left them straight. So, and I think that's pretty cute. Now you could always add a top or you could add lace or something like that to the top of them. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna have the straight journaling card. 
So if you did that, then when you're ready to put it in whatever you're going to use it on, then you could always finish it off the way you liked it or the way you would want it. And then you could round your corners or cut them. So that's our first one. Now on this one, we have a little bird. Let me see. Now this is um, parchment paper that I hadn't coffee dyed. And I like the way the words show through the back. I mean, you could also do it with vellum if you wanted to. I don't have vellum, but I like using parchment paper. Our little word for this one is bliss. husband and I like to watch the birds out here flying around. So we'll put that down there. And this little guy is in flight. I'm just going to have these leaves like they're laying on the ground underneath him or something. And I like the colors in him. Okay, so there's that one. And we'll turn it over. Put our journal um, paper on the back. And I just made strips down the center. I figured it would just let the book paper show through. I guess I didn't use my glue stick that time. Hmm. Well, it's still glued down good. All right, now since how that little spot's right there, that would be like where you was going to put your um, tie or something. I'm just going to put a little gem. It'll just be a little pretty soft, so, uh, flat gem, so it won't hurt nothing when you're journaling. And I'll just put green to match the green in that. So there's that one and I think that one's cute. Okay, now on this one we have an owl. I think owls are just like the coolest thing. Sometimes they look mean, but they always look serious. see them too often. Well, that's not straight. Let's turn it around this way. That's better. And I didn't make them to look like they were cut for the spot. So some of them are a little more raggedy looking than others. Now on the bottom of this one, I also did a strip of paper to put underneath our word piece.
And there's that. And I think he looks really good on there. If I would have had a word that said majestic, I could have put that on there. But I didn't. I have ink on my fingers, so my fingers look dirty. And I think all of them darker colors go together real good. think that turned out really good. Now we have another mushroom, a little red cap mushroom. And this is just parchment paper. All of them have parchment paper on them. And this one says, enjoy. I enjoy mushrooms. And they're not overly decorated. I don't think they have to be overly decorated, but you can decorate them however you like because everybody has their own taste. And I like the colors in the coffee dyed paper too. Some of them are a little bit lighter, but some of them are a little darker. And we'll put a thing on there. I don't have red, but I'll just put the bright pink on there. Hopefully I'm staying up on the desk where I belong. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's see, we only have a couple more here to do. This one is a couple little butterflies and they are friends. like to make ephemera. What would you like to do? Make ephemera or make journals? I like making ephemera. It's just easier. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. Now I'm going to have this one down here and this one just up here a little bit. So they're going to be flying together. Let me 
dab that just a little bit. And this little guy, I have to give him some antennas. Okay. So we'll put this on the back. And we'll put a little gem on. And this is on our dictionary page. You can do them on music paper and map papers, anything you want. All right, let's see. We have um, a kind of blue. So I guess we'll just use the one that's yeah, similar to blue, like a little bit lighter than blue. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the color actually is. Okay, and there's our friends. All right, now our last one is going to be another butterfly, and I hope everyone is enjoying today. Now I'm getting gluey fingers. Okay. So there's that one. He'll go there. This guy here, he has eyes and a mouth. Generally, you don't see the butterflies like that. I like the colors. They're pretty. Okay, our last one. What did you think about the journal cards? Got a little heavy handed there with the ink. I think they all turned out pretty cute. Like I say, it's a quick project. So you could call this a mass make. Doesn't take long at all to get them done. Just open this up and I'll lay them all out here. You have to like lay so they can flatten out a little bit. They're still damp. Make sure I'm in the camera. So let me know what you think. I hope you come back to see me for my next video. And until then, happy crafting, everyone. Bye for now.